Hello MechWarriors, how's it going? And welcome to your daily dose of MechWarrior Online, where we are playing the Cataphrag today, the good old Cataphrag 1X. That thing is made for brawling. Why? I'm gonna show you guys. We're gonna take a look at the store before we get into the games here, and when we go to Battle Max and then Heavy and then Cataphrag, you can see the 1X has some interesting quirks. The thing is, we have a Ballistic Cooldown quirk of 20%, we have Ballistic Velocity of 10%, Energy Cooldown 10%, and Energy Heat negative 5%, on top of a good chunk of armor quirks, and that makes the make very sturdy, and it brings a great rate of fire and some, some sustain to stay in the fight and to be there and be a block of metal that can absorb damage and can also pump out DPS as if it was nothing. And that's exactly what we're gonna be doing today. So the build consists of a single ultra, no, single auto cannon 10, not ultra, regular auto cannon 10. And I took a regular auto cannon 10 over an ultra auto cannon 10 because a UAC can jam and then your cooldown doesn't help you at all. It doesn't give you any benefit. So therefore I'd rather shoot the auto cannon in regular firing mode, like one shot, one shell at a time, 10 damage pinpoint, and that over and over again and very, very fast. You will see that in the games, it's absolutely insane. We have two large lasers on the high mount, on the shoulders, and then we have three medium lasers on the arms, as well as a targeting computer Mark One for some velocity bonus, beam range bonus, and critical bonus. Oh, and then we have a light engine with 16 double heat sinks total. That is the build, guys. It's very straightforward. It's a nice kind of mid-range, brawly type of build. It's kind of a damage dealer, again, that can also absorb some damage. And um, before we get into the video, uh, the games, obviously, Obviously, we're gonna take a look at the skills and they look like that. Since we have a lot of lasers on the build, I was going for laser duration and we have one point of magazine capacity uh, easily available here. And honestly, I don't think that you need more than one in general. You can't, could, of course, get the second one down here, but uh, this one here is absolutely fine. What we do want is more cooldown and more heat management so we can actually sustain ourselves because the faster you fire, the more heat you will build up. Therefore, you also gotta care about heat management uh, when you care about cooldown so therefore we're gonna try to get a lot of heat gen nodes on the way down the ones down here 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 and these here on, on the right arm as well so they are very important for what we have in mind on top of that since i want to be in the fight and the cataract honestly doesn't have the greatest hitboxes so it's a pretty wide mag it's easy to hit i wanted to max out survivability so we can get the most out of our quirks most of, out of our structure and the armor and uh, we can actually play the tank for the team easily we have operations half skilled here i wanted to get at the very least three cool run nodes and of course, you could get more and sacrifice a little bit of, I don't know, structure, for example, in the survivability tree, getting all the way down here, getting all the heat containment. That means you can fire more often, but I didn't want to give up on my survivability. And I think this is a great middle ground, something that is good to have, but uh, is not investing too many points. We have 60% rate of deprivation because sometimes we need to dive down to cover if there are too many enemies focusing us down. Then we're going to just get back to cover and then try to come back in in second line or from a different angle. And rate of deprivation really helps you getting rid of the enemy's locks quickly and that's what we are going for here and then there's the one point in the consumable slot the value point so i can have two consumables here that kind of basically doubles the amount of consumables that you can take and uh, i'm gonna put a uav no an artillery strike and a cool shot into the mac today and that's the build everybody wish you all a lot of fun in the two games that are coming now if you have that then don't forget to leave a rating subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and now it's time to hit the battlefield Alrighty, first game of the day. We are playing Domination on the Termaline Desert. Oh god, that's gotta be hot, hot, hot. Let's see. Actually, only 30% of our laser heat is getting applied, and that is a good sign. That means we can actually shoot and, and fire a lot of times here. So, we have a light mag kind of, kind of trying to get to us quickly. Do we want to try to contest him? That's the question here. Or do we want to go to the good old Echo 6 area where kind of everybody goes? I mean, look at this guy. He is so damn close. It's a snowball. Alright. Um, I mean, nobody is getting there. A lot of people are really, really bound to the right side here. They are attracted by the fire that's coming from that side. And yeah, as you can see, uh, we are trying to build something up here. So let us see. I mean, we are a pretty big, obvious target. But if somebody if somebody is showing up in Echo 6, we are able to shoot him in return. But I don't really want to overstep my boundaries right now. I definitely... Oh, look at that guy. Let's look at him. All right. Got some damage out. Laser burns first. Auto cannon later because I wanted to deal some direct damage without waiting for the projectile. I mean, the Hellfire is still there, right? Oh, it's a rifleman? Huh, oh, I thought it was a Hellfire. Maybe it's both. Um, people are going to the Death Valley. That's bad, guys. Who, where was that coming from? Oh, that guy up there. Yeah, he has long range LB axes. Uh, don't all go for the Banshee. He will be dead before you arrive. Just saying. 
This guy has to go. I mean, seriously. Go away, buddy. All right, so people are trying to get cover. Again, I have no idea um, what my team's intentions are. So I'm gonna try to get to Echo 6, but we have to watch this here. Yeah, definitely. Let's go for some laser laser burns as well. All right, I mean, we have started. I better, I better just shoot now. <laughs> okay, so there's some damage. Okay, 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 you are also here. You are also here. Where's my friends? Where's my team? Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Okay, people, you didn't want to push. I see. Uh-huh. No push was coming. Uh, yeah, I mean, watch the minimap? Maybe? We could have dealt right. so much damage together. I was tanking like a boss. Oh, no. <sighs> all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. So, strike is coming down and on our spot, Fox 6. Okay, so we have everything still. That's the good news. We have all of our weapons. We don't have that much armor anymore, but dudes, we dealt damage in that fight. Supernova inbound. So, where to go now? I mean, really, we have a bunch of long range dudes seemingly. Oh, I see, I see, I see. Yeah, the Ducker Madcats want to take it slow here. That's it. But I want to be in the fight. So, let's get into the fight. Mm, that was a miss. I'm going to go for those guys here again. All right, so now we have some movement on the table. I really hope that my friends are coming. Where is everybody? Come on, I cannot take all the damage. I mean, I'm willing to, but not all the time. That's the thing. Okay, so I'm gonna try to again absorb, absorb, absorb. That's what I can do right now. It's that guy again. Cannot hit him, cannot hurt him, so we're gonna turn around again. Ooh boy, ooh boy, ooh boy. Um, it's a three and two scenario. Um, I really wanna push in here, but team is going he was going somewhere, somewhere else. <laughs> Again, that's that's perfectly fine. That is okay. But it feels bad. It feels bad when I'm gonna try to make a move and then everybody is bound somewhere else. And I know communication is key, but uh, you know we had some shit talkers in the first uh, phase of the game, and uh, you know I don't I don't care about them. So um, let's go in here. Let's get that guy. Man, that auto cannon is so good. Uh, that's a bad shot there on my behalf. Um, yeah, let's go for Mr. Shadow Kitten here. Yeah, that's a bit too high. So we're gonna switch target again. We're gonna overheat a little bit. Just a little bit. Not too much. And now we have a 7 and 2 situation. Alright, so while the NASCAR is going on, we're gonna turn around and try to do a nice pincer move here on the other side, doing a hammer and anvil, or never mind. I won't be there to help out, but I saw somebody on the high ground in Delta 6, so we're gonna go up there. And then there's, of course, still our friend the sniper on the high ground. I don't think that he ever moved. So let's go around here. Oh, there he is. Ah, missed shot there. We have 18 shots left. 18. That is good. Why did you not kill the Phoenix Arc? Wait. Did he not go to the right side? It seemed like he was going to the right side. Uh, there is a guy. Oh, there he is. He's actually going to the other side. Ooh. Come on. There we go. We finally got a kill. So, 10 and 2, I would say. And that's a rifleman. It's a very late war horn. That was from the Phoenix Hawk kill. Oh, come on, dude. Okay. And we're hot again, but that's okay because the rifleman is finally down. Alrighty. So, it's an 11-2 situation. Man, I wonder how much damage I took in this fight. That is insane. All right, all right, all right, all right. I mean, we are still alive. We still have all of our weapon systems. We even have some ammo left. And we are down to 55% only. So that's the power of the cataphract. It can just absorb. But I only took 380. It felt way more than that, I gotta say. But okay, we got one killing blow, six assists, four kill, most damage dealt, 687 damage done. And that is it for the first game. Let's go over to the next one and see how this will go down. All right, the second game of the day. We are playing Skirmish on the Grim Plexus. And and there is a big artillery strike coming down at my spot. Why here? Why on this pillar? Probably a misplaced one. But uh, the fight is on already. Our fast movers are closing in on the enemy's firing line there. We have an LRM Sun Spider. That Sun Spider has to go. It's lots of LRMs. It's Charlie. Um, and there's also a UAV up, guys. Yup, yup, yup. But UAV, guys. I'm gonna try to take it while I'm moving, which is bad because, you know, bobbing up and down is kind of the thing right now. But we're gonna shoot multiple times while we are moving forward, and I think we, we will get it eventually. And there we go. So, now, what are we doing about the Sun Spider? We have a Vapor Eagle shooting PPCs already. That is so cool. I like the aggression on the board here. Oh, wait. Wait in Gold 7, guys. There are people coming and trying to push us here. Yeah, let's not leave our assault on. 
Yeah, let's just wait in golf seven and just kill everybody. I see somebody already. I'm gonna drop an artillery strike on that thing. All right, so I'm gonna take this little thing here as my cover. And then we're gonna try to find an angle on Mr. Dude Guy who got away. All right, he was seeing it coming. Who's our annihilator? No, Dire Wolf there. It's a very slow moving assault mix, so it's either the Annie or it's a Dire. But that's okay. So we're gonna wait here. We're gonna let our Pop Tarts do what Pop Tarts do best, which is Pop Tarting. And uh, we're gonna let them soften up our foes. And. UAV is up. Yeah, it's a great UAV. Thank you for that. That is absolutely amazing. I'm trying to kill that thing or just hit that Shadow Cat somehow. But uh, I think uh, the enemies are... Oh, I wanted to say they are unaware of the UAV. That was a second too late there. All right, they're going to make a Golf 7 push. Brace for impact, guys. All right, here we go. There is some movement going on. And the left side is hot. Yeah, that's a Shadow Cat. Did they, it did not hit him with my AC-10, sadly. What is going on here? People are kind of trying to rotate still. But let the fast movers do their fast mover stuff. We're going to hold this here. There's a Battle Master. Get the Battle Master. Bravo, bravo. Okay. Uh huh. Okay, 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 okay. That's a lot of missiles coming in. That's probably the Sun Spider who actually saw idea. me. Ooh, and we are getting flanked. Okay, guys, we need more metal in Golf 7, please. If you can provide. I'm on the Annihilator. On any. On Echo. And we got the kill! Alright, that's something. They have a UAV? Alright, good to know, but I'm gonna rotate out of this here, because I don't like the shots that are coming in uh, to my back specifically. And then the missiles, oh no. No, 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 no. Get the missiles out of my way, please. Where's that UAV? Let me try to take it real quick. Gonna hold up for a second. Gonna take that. U UAV is down, don't care about that anymore. Uh-huh, and then we're gonna go for Mr. Rifleman. And kill him. Yep. Cool. So. Well done so far. Ugh, those missiles. Why me again? Why always me? <laughs> it feels like I am the center of attention for the Sun Spider. I need to break line of sight here. Come on. Ugh. Get the Warhammer Hotel. He's almost down. I'm going to make a push forward to Golf 7 now. Let's see if that is possible. All right. Nobody here. Oh, that's a lot of people here. We need more people. We definitely need more people. Can you provide some armor, guys? You need to share armor now. Just keep him busy. Just keep shooting. Keep moving. Ooh, that's a dire freaking wolf. And that guy was almost dead, right? Uh, on the Juliet there, the Nightgear. We got his right side torso. That's great. Get that Nightgear, guys. Get him, get him, get him. Good job. Now the dire wolf. Where is he? Where did he go? Oh, there's a UAV right above us. I'm gonna try to take it again. All right. And there we go. And I'm gonna... I'm around the corner. Hopefully the Dyer is facing a different direction. And he is. Perfect. I'm also not making enough room for my friends here. And I'm also almost dying because of that Dyer wolf. Holy crap. I don't want to die yet. Alright, alright, alright. Here he comes. I'm gonna try to stay a little bit behind. So he's taking the first target as his target. And now he's on me, right? Yeah, there's nothing I could have done anymore. Both side torso super critical, center torso super critical. I couldn't get it done. Oh, man. But we have still some people on the board. The snowball here with the medium pulse laser heavy machine gun build. Perfect. Lots of armor left. The cicada, eh, not looking that great anymore. Sun Spider has one shot, center torso. Get him. Seven and nine now. Oh, no. SRM-6 coming through from the Assassin. Doesn't look great anymore on the legs there, but it might be that he can pull through. Let's see what else we got on the battlefield. Here comes Mr... Um, yeah, 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 yeah. That's good. Go for the peeps. Go for the center torso. And he got the awesome. Ten and nine. This is actually the comeback. This is the turnaround once more. That was a back and forth in this game here. Crazy. And that's a cool guy, which is also getting destroyed by a little snowball here. Got six kills. No, five kills on the table already. And the battle master is still alive. That's crazy. I didn't expect him to live so long because we engaged him very early on quite aggressively. I mean, quite aggressively. We were in the fight with him a bunch of times. And we got it in the end. Nice job, everybody. That was good. That was really nice. We got two killing blows. We got nine assists. We got 500 damage done, 500 taken with two components destroyed. Let me take a look at Snowball. Who was that? Uh, where is he? Where is the Snowball? There's the Snowball. Urban Mag. Yeah, I got six kills in the end. And overall, look at that. I like when the numbers are kind of very close together and not like super high and super low. I love that game, guys. And if you love the video, then don't forget to leave a rating. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I hope to see you on the battlefield. Goodbye.